You know, if there's one thing that watch reviewers hear time and time again in the comment section, it is not another diver, not another homage, not another Mecha Quartz chronograph. We're sick of these. We want to see something new. We want to see something different. Of course, ironically, when something different does come along, they say, oh, that's not to my taste. Anyway, regardless, today I am going to show you something that is quite different. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alton and I'm so glad that you could join me. Today I want to show you something that isn't another diver, another Rolex homage, or another Mecha Quartz chronograph. Let me introduce you to the Numero 1940 Cream Automatic by W.T. Author, a young micro brand with a series of successful small batch watches under its belt. W.T. Author is not a brand with which I was familiar until a few months ago. When I saw renderings for this prototype watch from the soon to be released Final Countdown collection, I was intrigued by the design and I reached out to the owners to see if I could review a piece. That watch will be coming shortly, but in the meantime, they sent over a watch that is similar, which they're using as an add on for their upcoming Kickstarter campaign on April 26. But more about that later. First, I want to tell you that I have been gifted this watch. I do not need to give it back. Of course, that means that you can no longer trust this review in any way. After all, we all know that every watch reviewer is in the pocket of Big Micro Brand. Nailing down the specs on this watch is a little tricky. It is 316L stainless steel for the case with an anodized aluminum crown. It's 44 millimeters in its case in both directions, 51 millimeters diagonally. It has a 43.5 millimeter bezel, 50 millimeters lug to lug, 22 millimeter lugs, and it's only 12.5 millimeters thick. It's a little deceiving in that regard. It has a Miyota 9015, which hacks, hand winds, and is high beat. It has a screw down exhibition case back. That means it's 100 meters of water resistance. As a sapphire coated crystal, I believe that would be a mineral crystal that's sapphire coated, but I'm not sure. And they list it in British pounds, which is roughly 460 US dollars. The 1940 has a bold and rugged style with a unique case and dramatic dial. The case appears to be made of four pieces of stainless steel with various coatings and textures. The non-rotating bezel is coated in a bronze color with large circular protrusions at the cardinal points and smaller circular protrusions at the remaining hour markers. Now this design choice not only adds functional hour indications, but it also lends a rugged appearance. Unique to this watch is the second level of the case, which is a squarish 12 sided piece of coated stainless steel that comes in around three millimeters or just a hair under and presents the widest dimensions to the case. The coating on this version is a very deep bronze, almost brown in color, and each corner contains three drilled accents. From straight on, you would think that this is in fact a square case, but turning it over, you may be surprised to find that it actually has a round 43 millimeter mid case with a cross hatch design printed deeply and cleanly on all four sides. This not only provides visual interest, it also means that the 1940 wears more comfortably than a square slab would wear. The short lugs protrude from the mid case and hug the wrist really well, making this watch far more comfortable to wear than you might at first think it should. Below the mid case, we encounter a non-coated stainless steel screw down, as in using actual hex screws exhibition case back, where you might find a Miyota 9015 ticking away in all its high beat glory. This is an excellent citizen movement that is becoming more and more popular with micro brands these days, and for good reason. The three o'clock crown is a red anodized aluminum crown that is nice and grippy, allowing you to hack, hand wind, quick set the date, and of course, set the hands to 10 and two for Instagram pictures. The hour and the minute hands are black and white sword shaped hands. The loom on them is not specified, but I will say it's not very strong. The minute hand has a lollipop counterbalance, which you don't see very often. The red seconds hand conversely has no counterbalance at all. But the seconds hand has plenty of length and the red step design is very attractive. The tuning fork hour markers are highly legible. There is a blue ring around the perimeter with blue minute markings. However, between the 40 and the 50, there are no hour or minute markings. 
And this makes space for the 80th Squadron Mercury Automatic, which is printed on the dial. A second blue ring encircles the pinion. The date is outlined in red, and there's a blue section at 4. The attractive W.T. Arthur logo is printed at 12 in red, and above it is a double zero in true pilot watch fashion. All of this is surrounded by a red rehote, which I think finishes off the dial very, very well. Flipping the watch over, we find an attractive display case back, which contains pertinent information as well as the limited edition serial number. As you can see, this is number 20 of 100 pieces. I particularly enjoy the red accents on the case back, as well as the symmetry of the entire affair. The strap is a soft, handmade Italian leather strap, which although is chunky and does not taper, is extremely comfortable due to the soft leather that is used. All stitching is even and durable, and the buckle matches the bezel and color. The inspiration for this aviation design, according to W.T. Author, is the World War II Battle of Britain. The website tells us that the Royal Air Force defended Britain against the German Air Force attacks at the end of June in 1940, and the signature silhouette takes on an aggressive aesthetic by looking to aircraft gauges of that era. And so this watch overall just has a very gauge-like, me mechanical-like feel to it that is supposed to evoke that feeling from aviation gauges and airplanes and so on from the 1940s. No matter the inspiration, it is easy to tell, even at first glance, that the 1940 is definitely not another diver, Rolex, homage, or mecha quartz chronograph. Well, let's talk a little bit about the pros of this watch. First of all, it's very well made. Everything is clean. Everything seems to line up, is symmetrical, is well printed. It just feels like a quality watch. Secondly, it has quite a bit of wrist presence, not just because it's a larger watch, but also because it's a unique and bold watch with a, a mix of colors and, and textures and finishings that all seem to work together pretty well, but definitely don't fade into the background, if you know what I mean. Number three, it is a small batch watch that is made to order in Shropshire, UK. So when you order this, they're actually going to make it for you. And on the website, they tell you how many days it's going to take. And I think it was around a week. It's not very long at all. I think that's pretty cool. These are numbered editions that you'll be purchasing. Well, no watch is perfect. And there are a few cons to this watch. Number one, sapphire coated crystal. At this price point, I would love to have seen a true sapphire crystal and i know the the watch that they are about to release in april is going to have a true sapphire crystal this one does not i think that is a weak point and obviously they do too and that's why in future iterations it's going to have a sapphire crystal but i guess the sapphire coating is better than a mineral crystal overall secondly it is a little bit weak in the loom department I would say I, I got it going with my torch and it just didn't last as long as I would like to see. It's definitely no Seiko diver in terms of loom. And number three, this is a Kickstarter add-on. So what you're going to have to do is, is buy the watch that is coming out and then add this on to the order. Granted, it's going to be significantly reduced in price, and I think that is an attractive feature to purchasing this watch. And it will ship before the other watch ships. But I think it would be great to just be able to go to the website and order one of these at that price point. Well, in summary, the Numero 1940 is meant for someone who enjoys bold aviation design and larger dimensions that still wears comfortably on wrist. The Kickstarter for the final countdown goes live on April 26th. And if you want to add one of these 1940s to that order, the information will be available soon on their website and on the Kickstarter website as well. A huge thanks to WT Author for gifting this watch into the channel. To all of you for watching, please look forward to a future review coming soon of the final countdown watch. Please feel free to like and subscribe. It really does go a long way to propping up my fragile ego.